Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see practical coding of how to use concatenate methods in, in Stream API with respect to Java 1.8. So I am going to create some streams and then I am going to use concatenate method and also I am going to use some characters dot joining. There are some other some more methods I am going to explore it here. So without any further delay, you guys can see in and out of what is concat, right? Assume that I have stream stream s1 is equal to stream dot off. I have let's say two elements here. Let's say 10 comma 20, right? Similarly, I have another stream which is s2. Let me print. Uh, let me have s2 stream, which is let's say you have like 30 and 40, right? These are the elements inside the stream, right? So I have two streams s1 and s2. S1 is contains like 10 and 20. And S2 is contains 30 and 40. Now I want to see stream S3 or stream dot concatenate of S1 comma S2. Right? And then I want to see after you concatenate, what you are getting? If you guys see here, click on this one, you will see what is the turn type. The concatenation concatenation of the two input streams, right? And then you can store it as a stream. Stream S3 equal to like this, isn't it? Now, instead of again store it as a stream, I want to collect as a list and then I want to print what is contained inside the list, right? So then dot collect collectors as a list, right? So what I have to do is collect us to list. Right, so that instead of string, I am going to convert into a list. List of integers L equal to stream dot concatenate of S1 comma S2. I have to add a casting. Right, so now it is stored as a list. Now what I'm trying to do here is I want to print it inside the list. So what I can do here is I can iterate the list. Right, so how I can do L dot iterator or dot then whatever is remaining in the records, right? So for each elements, I want to apply the system sysout statement, right? So system dot out colon colon print ln, right? So let me go and run this program. Yeah, 10, 20, 30, 40. So that is how it got concatenated. So concatenation means like joining, right? So a similar example I want to show you guys. Let's say I have arrays dot as the stuff. I have a comma b comma c comma d. Okay, I have a b c d in the array list. Sorry, um, yeah, in the this one I'm trying to convert into list. And then I want to convert into stream. So how we can do is dot stream off, right? So this is converted into stream, right? So I can say stream s3 is equal to, sorry, um, stream s3 is equal to. I am converting this into stream s3, right? This array of stream, right? So now I have s3. Now what I can do here is on the stream I can use collect of in the collectors, right? Collectors dot joining method there is a joining method here we have and then i want to print this one how how it will be there right so this is out i want to print this so i want to print this one over here let me run this program okay if you guys see here it, it got joined as a b c d right similarly if you want to apply some logic over here instead of a b c d as it is I want to sub apply some logic, let's say comma separated by comma, right? Let me go and run this program. You can see here system is already open, right? So basically you can do one, one at a time because that stream is already open. So now if I go and run this program, yeah, here we go. Now A B C D is getting joined, but internally it is using like comma separated because we are using specifically telling comma, right? And the other way of doing here is you can tell the stream to be joined 
with comma and then opening brace right and then you can say that um, closing brace so what it will do here is it is going to apply comma in the middle of the elements and this in the first and this in the last let me go and run this program yeah if you guys see here comma is applied by joining all the elements and this has been applied in the beginning and the third the argument has been passed in the last right so this is actually correct as the joining method works and whenever you have a stream open and once you use that stream then you have to uh, re reopen the stream because you are not actually closing the stream because stream is actually an api which is an interface and if you guys so, uh, see here the documentation of java 1.8 so the stream api actually extends base stream and if you guys go in detail about base stream you will see auto closable so basically it's automatically closed so actually stream api automatically extends auto closable so we don't need to do any anything related to closing the streams but uh, if you try to use it then it is going to throw that runtime error so that you have to use it fresh the first stream so so in short we have seen like how to use concatenate method and how to uh, use you know collectors dot joining method so whenever you want to have a requirement to concatenate two streams of objects or you want to uh, add two collection objects then you can simply think about converting that uh, collections into a stream and using these methods you can simply concatenate it and then you can join it based on however they want and then you can simply uh, proceed further in your program i hope you guys have understood this concept if you guys have still questions anything like just post your comments thank you guys bye bye i hope you guys have understood the concept very clearly but still if you guys have any questions or any clarifications required please post your comments in the comment section and i will be more than happy to assist keep watching all our videos there are a lot more videos to come and if you guys like this video please hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to the channel and share with your friends don't forget to hit the bell icon thanks for watching i will see you in the next interesting video guys